watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa returned to the kingdom today after a visit to the Kingdom of Morocco. His Majesty was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Defense Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, participated in the International Coalition meeting to fight terrorist organization Daesh, which was held at the headquarters of the United States Department of State in Washington today, to review the alliance's efforts in fighting Daesh at all levels and to discuss ways to develop these efforts in order to ensure the eradication of the terrorist organization. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to participate in this important meeting, which will discuss the phenomenon of terrorism in all its dimensions, implications and manifestations, which is one of the most dangerous challenges that faces the international community. He stressed that achieving peace and security in Iraq and Syria depends on the elimination of all terrorist groups and not only Daesh, as these terrorist groups threaten all countries of the world. He added that countries must start recognizing the danger of the expansion of terrorism to them and the need to address all forms of extremism, violence and terrorism through effective organized and collective action to get rid of these organizations that are hostile towards civilizations and humanity and take murder and terrorism as a tactic to terrorize people and claim the lives of innocent people everywhere without distinction or discrimination. The minister warned of the destructive role played by Iran and Syria by sending forces of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards to fight and by the offer of obvious support to terrorist crimes committed by Hezbollah. He demanded the need to work on not allowing Iran to fill the void that will occur immediately after defeating Daesh. The minister pointed out the importance of periodic review and continuous assessment of the efforts of the coalition in the fight against Daesh and exchange views on ways to develop and strengthen these efforts at all levels in order to defeat Daesh and other terrorist organizations as well as drying up its funding and put an end to their brutal practices that do not relate to religion and humanity that will contribute in the restoration of security and regional and international peace and boost the hopes of people in prosperity and development.